people who have experienced a 9 or 10 on the pain scale what happened? Endometriosis, severe, excruciating pelvic and abdomen cramps that take control of my whole body lasts for several hours. Along with the pain I get nauseous and fatigued, feeling like I'll pass out at any second. I've been curled up in a ball screaming on the bathroom floor at least three or four times in the last few years. I'll experience what I consider a nine on the pain scale once every for six months or so. I'm saving my ten for childbirth. Ten thousand plan to just get everything taken out after having children. I don't want this in my life anymore. I have to use a sick day from work every time. Come infection, my retainer cut my gum. Thought nothing of it. Woke up with some bleeding and a little pain. Thought it might sort itself out after I brush and rinse. Today, my whole mouth feels like I'm constantly biting tin fall in just constant waves of pain and my mouth now entirely has this gross jelly-like blood that just reappear every time you cleared it. I survived about two hours of uni before the pain caused me a migraine. Got an emergency appointment with a hygienist to find out the cure is one or two tablets that basically instantly fix fixed it. Late stage appendicitis. In the early stages my then girlfriend now wife and mother-in-law made fun of me for complaining about man flu. I had enough of them and drove home 20 kilometers at no faster than 40 kilometers h in a 100 kilometers h zone because of the pain. When I got home I went to bed and passed out. I then remember waking up to paramedics packing me into an ambulance that my mum called because I was moaning and wouldn't wake up. I passed out again, then woke in the hospital after emergency surgery. I don't remember much after passing put but the pain beforehand was horrendous. Kidney stones 8 10 to 10 10. Last one the pain was so bad that all I could do is roll around in a fetal position on the bathroom floor and shout. Only time I was in cold sweats from pain and felt like I might pass out, even worse. At the time you have no idea when the pain is ending and it comes in waves. Then you get to pass the stone. Not fun. Broken leg 7 10 to 8 10. Extremely painful when it happened but the pain would go down if I wasn't moving it. Gout 9-10. Small crystals form in a joy, and it swells, and the slightest movement or touch causes extreme pain. Had a silent uti that went to my kidney. Started out thinking maybe I pulled a muscle in my shoulder. Then felt like a stitch in my gut the sore shoulder. Escalated over the course of the day to me sobbing and near thinking I was going to die and my toddler would be the witness. Dear gave me a dose of oral indoni on arrival that didn't even touch the pain. Ended up getting to doses of fentanyl, along with antibiotics, and I finally felt the pain go away. They topped me up with my fentanyl before discharging me. I can see why people get addicted to it. I would be wide awake and in agony during the night. I would literally sit on my bed and bang my head against the wall because nothing was helping. My mum would be hiding analgesics around the house from me. I had a genuine mental breakdown after her. I was given a minute dose of benzodiazepine in hopes I would fall asleep or be at least a bit better. Was lying with my head in my mother's lap laughing maniacally while tears of pain were streaming down my face. Even after ten years or so, I truly believe if I had a weapon back then I would have killed myself. Fun times. Shattered tibia at least 23 pieces distinct on the zray. Snap fibula and broken clavicle simultaneously. All on the left side. Ended up with a tibial nail spike and screws and less than a 50 chance the tibia would heal versus. Amputation according to the orthopedic surgeon glad I took the chance as it did heal. Had to learn how to walk again after my leg and feet muscles had atrophied away as I couldn't put any weight on my left arm or leg so no crutches allowed. My leg still hurts years later not as bad as when the accident happened though of course. Had surgery on one of my feet, a lot of stuff involved. And there's a bunch of hardware in there now. That part was whatever. A week or so later, I'm on my knee scooter at home and ran over a sock, tipped over, and without thinking, stuck out that leg. Landed with full weight 200 pounds on that foot. My brain couldn't even comprehend the pain. It was so intense, instantly nauseous. Had to crawl to the bathroom and hug the toilet. Amazingly, I somehow didn't mess anything up. But goddamn, I still get a little queasy thinking about how that fell.
Hemoag exists the size of a grapefruit or my ovary, and the endometriosis had webbed from uterus to ovaries to intestines and my abdominal wall. What was supposed to be a super quick surgery last almost a 0.5 hours. The healing was easy. It was the pain before when the cyst started to rupture, etc. And that brought me to my knees real quick and after the surgery the anesthesia made me sick. So I had a belly full of stitches and cauterized from the endo. And I was hurling for two days straight. I don't know if it's a 9 or 10. But here's my short story. I broke my arm and pinky in a bike accident and also tore my pinkies. Tendon. After the third surgery on the finger, I had to move it immediately so the tendon wouldn't glue itself to the bone or whatever. The anesthetist told me I wouldn't feel pain for like 3 hours. Like 20 minutes after the surgery. A physiotherapist came in my hospital room to move the finger etc. Well, the anesthetic already worn off so when he bent my freshly operated finger. I fainted. Compression fracture of a vertebrae. The pain came in rolling waves at the 9-10 peak. I just made strange, grunting noises, like somewhere. A seal thinks they're about to get lucky weird noises. When it eased, I could talk. Even when the nice medical people gave me pethidine. I felt so much better than I walked down to the x-ray. They insisted on wheeling me back. The doctor pointed at the x-ray and said see that vertebrae that looks like a lamington that's been sat on. That's the problem. I was in bed dozing lazy teenager at my parents and the doorbell rang. I jumped out of bed while still half asleep, wrenched open the bedroom door to try and get downstairs quickly and jammed the rough bottom edge of the solid wooden door over my toes. It skinned them and got stuck. The pain was pretty bad. I was home alone and ended up having to kick the door off my bloody swollen toes with my other leg, ripping a toenail out in the process. And that was painful enough to see stars. A solid nine, I think. Ten on the pain scale, the right testicle turned 180 degrees. I didn't know anything about this kind of thing yet, so as not to go to the hospital, I fixed it myself. The pain made me sweat. Lots of people have this problem every day in the world. It hurts so much that since that day I have taken amazing care of my balls. Also I was lucky. Some have their testicles turned 360 or more degrees. And that means you gotta go to the hospital. And they gotta open your balls sack and untangle your ball then sew it. I had a nerve root block done at the L5-S1 level. When the radiologist inserted the needle it hit the nerve root directly. I find it hard to even explain how much it hurt. Excruciating seems to fit best. He said it was a good thing because the closer he got to the nerve root the better the chances of success were. He wasn't wrong. It worked for a good couple of years. I had full more in the 10 or so years after and they never hurt as much and they never worked as well. No pain. No gain, I guess. Kidney stone stuck between my kidney and bladder. 11 level pain for hours. Needed surgery to have it removed. They left a stent in for a week after surgery. When they removed the stent it was like the doctor was starting a lawnmower. She just wrapped the strings around her fingers that were hanging out and pulled. There was a pain level 8. But only after the fact. The actual starting of the mar pool was the single strangest feeling I've ever felt followed by. Pain. Would not recommend. Honestly I'm not sure if I've reached 9-10 pain. But when I was around the age of 8 I broke both bones in my arm. The doctors thought it would be a good idea to try to reset my arm while I was conscious. They weren't successful and realized I would have to undergo surgery to have this procedure done. During this time of their trial and error I was in extreme pain and was told to relax. Needless to say it was extremely painful. But because I was so young I honestly kind of forget about it. I ended up with very acute sinusitis after spending a few days in a very, very polluted Bangkok. About 15 years ago, x-rays at the hospital confirmed my sinuses were topped up to the brim with pus, and this caused pressure on the nerves serving my upper rows of teeth. All of my upper teeth felt like they were being drilled into continuously with no anesthetic for, like today's until the antibiotics started to clear things up. It's difficult to describe how painful it was. I got AMRSA infection on my face that basically had infected my entire face and made my eyes swell. Shut. After about a week in the hospital, they finally decided to cut a small incision in my face to drain the infection. They did it at 7am 
and I was still mostly asleep mentally when they started. But the nurses and the doctor didn't communicate well, and I got no numbing or pain meds. I came to with a scalpel stabbed into my face and couldn't see any of it happening. I had an eye surgically removed. The medical term was an evisceration. For some reason I was sent home to hours after waking up from the procedure, with six codine pills instructions to come back in a couple of days to have the dressings changed. By the next day the agony I was in was such that I could only hold my head while curled in a ball. On the floor, my wife took me back to the hospital, where they were very surprised that I had been discharged so soon. 10. Gallstones For two months, first time I experienced the pain. My vision started blacking out while I was on the bathroom floor. Mum thought I was exaggerating, so I suffered for two more months until we went to the doctor. A nine was throwing up over ten times directly after having gastric sleeve surgery. The surgery where they cut away most of your stomach and see it up smaller for weight loss. Needless to say I did not react to the anesthesia well. I got steam burned. That was about a six or seven I would say was second degree burns to face, torso and arms 15% of body. Not recommended. The 9 or 10 pain was the first washing about a week after the burn to start debrading it. I touched my neck with a microfiber cord with glycerin soap on it. Instantly blacked out. I did not even feel it. My wife said I lost all color and slid down about a foot in the bathtub as she was keeping an eye on me.